guys, you are in for a treat. Veronica and I are going to try to, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to talk about all kinds of things, uh -huh. including uh, uh, challenges between men and women, international couples. Uh -huh. What did we say? We're going to um, do it in the dark? Oh, we said a lot of things today. <laughs> Hey guys, this is going to be uh, a dark video with Veronica yes. here because we're shooting almost in the dark. Here. I can put my glasses back on. Uh huh. You could, you could. Okay. Maybe I wear my sunglasses at night. Go, girl. Okay, so it's so Joel nobody and will recognize me. Hey guys, coming Joel to you here. live from it's Shevchenko most... Park in Kiev. Yes, it's what are we most... going to talk about, girl? Uh, it's the most spontaneous video that we've it ever is. done because. It is. Because you told me you're spontaneous, yes. and I said, "That's a virus." We can do that. So <laughs> let's, let's talk about the challenges that men have when they think they want to marry a Ukrainian woman. Right, a, a young one. Yes, especially young one. They need what? Viagra. That's the main thing, right? Yes. How much? <laughs> what are you doing with your sunglasses? I don't know. Go Maybe ahead. nobody can recognize me. What do you think? Do you think it's going to help? Okay. So let me ask you a serious question. What do you think is the maximum age difference, really, that a guy come to Ukraine and meet somebody uh, and be successful? Mm -hmm. And I don't mean successful for a one-year marriage. I mean a little longer than one year. So, so mm -hmm. maybe 10 years, 20 years. Like, no, a serious relationship where it's going to stand the test of time. Mm -hmm. Right? Have you been a little self-conscious, conscientious on me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there is another guy who was a tripod and he was asking me something. Uh-huh. I see so, that. We've got lots of action going on. Yeah, no, but seriously, it's a serious okay. topic. Mm -hmm. Get serious on me now, girl. What, what do you think? Maximum age difference oh, for a serious, long-lasting marriage. I do believe that it's individual and there are exceptions, but mm -hmm. I really think that people probably should be like same generation, not like two, three generations apart. Mm -hmm. I think it's just harder and it gets harder with time. I think foreign uh, marriage is kind of normal that the man is older because, uh, you know, guys in their 20s don't have money or in even like early 30s, they usually cannot afford to come to Ukraine or, any, and, you know, sponsor a wife. I mean, some do, but it's a small percentage. So I would say 10, 15 years, the difference is acceptable and is, uh, is, is possible and easy. And even, even that can be, in some cases, hard. It really depends. You know, mm. age does not um, affect people in the same way. Mm -hmm. You can put two people together mm -hmm. who are 40, you can put two men who are 40 years old. Yeah. And, you know, one of them going to be fit, uh, physically fit, emotionally, uh, you know, vibrant, um, very... Uh, just in a great shape overall. Yeah. And you can put another guy... And then guy. you got an old fat fart at 40. Yes. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically. Sorry, guys. But no, so. it, it matters because... Uh, okay, so let's segue into the next topic, which is... Age difference. Let's talk about sex. How does it make you feel? Did you drink today? No. This is no, no. He's he's uh, okay. I'm uh, drunk on life. Okay. Yes. 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 Well, You've been with me all day. What do you mean? Yes. Unless, right. I, unless I had vodka for breakfast. <laughs> so we were talking in the cab ride over to Shevchenko Park that um, women peak sexually in their like 40s and men I peak sexually say... at 17. No. <laughs> well, that's what they say. Oh, uh, it's uh, like so. I, uh, I would say it starts at 30 and it goes up to 40s. Up to 40. So, yeah. you know, ladies like mm, humming yeah, at 40 I, and the guys like, mm, we're, uh, so you know, coming do you down. Mean? So, and this is the thing. The Ukrainian women, sex is very important to marriage, to relationship, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's to any nationality, uh -huh. probably. Probably any nationality. I, and I think it's also, but, I think it's also depends on a person. Uh, uh, some people have, you know, just different uh, needs. Mm -hmm. So, so to speak. Yep. High sex drives, low sex drives. Yeah. But, um, but so that's why the age look, difference. If she is, if she uh. is, if she is younger, and she has low sex drive, and he's older but he has high, they actually might meet somewhere in the middle. So mm -hmm. that might that be not work. so bad. That that could work. That but could work. Everything else would be a serious challenge. Right. Right. So it's important. The subject matter is the point of the, this um, topic is that there's got to be sexual compatibility, mm -hmm. and that's the biggest probably component of the age difference, as well as attraction. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a spark attraction. Well, you know, we can talk a lot about uh, this issue. It's it's interesting because um, people 
sometimes treat this question is like very very unimportant they are kind of like shy to talk about it and um, I think um, maybe in some men groups men discuss like men issues women discuss Kanishna, like of women issues but yes. I just would say if you if you do have um, if you do have the, the bigger age gap you have, the possibly more issues you will have. Again, you know, there are exceptions and, you know, different examples of the opposite. But overall, that makes it harder. Maybe not right away, but within, you know, within uh, 10 years, like, you know, 7, 8, 10 years, it can be a big problem. And I think it's a really important part. You know, they say, they say that... Um, when uh, relationship falls apart, relationship never falls apart when there is a good sex. Good sex. Oh, and they also and say they also say sex is the first thing to go yes. when it's going downhill. So what's first? What's you know what? Yeah. The, so we don't know. It's important. Mm -hmm. um, so um, yeah. Well, I mean the main what point here is. What do you have to add? What do I have to add? That it's important that, um, you know, um, listen, a, a good relationship is about meeting the needs mm -hmm. of your partner. Mm -hmm. There's emotional needs, there's physical needs, there's mm -hmm. spiritual needs, there's, uh, you know, and if it's going to be a good relationship, you have to understand the needs of your partner and satisfy them. So this is just one department, and if a guy can't satisfy her sexual needs, Houston, we have a problem. Yes. So. And that's why uh, it's uh, really important to be able to uh, have sp like spend some time, you know, before you get that ring, you know, and before mm -hmm. you propose, before you, you know, you want you want to spend some time see if you, you know, you're comfortable. Sometimes the sexual problems they are reason of totally emotional. They have very few. Uh, they have very few reasons. Uh, physical physically can be everything great but mm -hmm. because you cannot trust you're uncomfortable especially for men sometimes as far as I know uh, you're just not compatible emotionally and therefore it doesn't work with this certain lady but it does work with the other one so you want to spend some time and I would say maybe go for a, like a trip together kind of have a change of scenery and see how that affect the relationship you know mm -hmm. good advice I think Veronica well the other part of this Veronica is that they say mm -hmm. Men cheat because they don't get enough sex. Mm -hmm. Women cheat because they don't get enough emotional fulfillment. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? That's the other side of this coin, really. You know, it's uh, often truth. It's often truth. But not always. Sometimes women cheat also because they don't get enough from their husband. Uh -huh. They might be... No him. sex. Uh, well, he might just have maybe enough. low sex drive. Uh -huh. drive. He yeah. might have... He might, you know, he, they might lose their compatibility or have issues in the relationships or sometimes he's much older so, you know, his performance not. Mm -hmm. But maybe she has certain feelings for him. It's very common actually for, in a way, it's common here in Ukraine. People don't want to divorce because they don't want to go through pain. They don't want to hurt the family. They don't want to have you know all that but they have to have somebody so-called on the side so they can satisfy their need I mean it's really sad but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what happens yes so um, you're very depressing on this topic I, know. I don't know what's up with you I think <laughs> <laughs> you need some vodka like I had no I think we need no. some light guys we, 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 we need some light you know we, we might have to do a video tomorrow 